Dude, later on, we're, me, Jared, and Evan are sitting here like, we have to get to the villa. Like, we have to. <laughs> it was like the sickest thing, dude. Like, it was the sickest thing. That villa, I was like, I got to get there. Dude, Jared Aguilar looks up on the on uh, Google, our hotel. Dude, a few years earlier, murder case there. No. I swear <laughs> to God. Dude. And here we are. Guys Being Dudes, episode 19. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening to Guys Being Dudes. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and of course, if you're a visual learner, then YouTube. But Luke, how's your day going, man? You know, man, I, I can't complain. I'm fired up because I'm having a little bit of flashbacks right now. Yeah, I, know I don't what know you if mean. you guys remember, but first episode, we uh we actually shot it right on this table. Yes, we haven't been back for a while. Episode 19, we're back. Yeah. We got some great dudes. I'm yeah. fired up. Like I I'm know. every cylinder is going right now. You've been so. talking about this one for the past 24 hours, like nonstop. Yeah, I have. I was calling you on your way back from your trip. <laughs> and I was like, Yo, let's go. So I'm fired up. Let's get yeah. after it. RJ, let them know who we got today, baby. Well, dude, no, you're exactly right. We got to get after it today. We got some dudes in the house today baby we got juco bandit straight out of fresno city baseball okay boys but hey there's three of you guys today only two of us so we're gonna let you guys introduce yourselves we'll go down the line uh let's take it back to like old team bonding sakes right so we want your name we want where you graduated from Mm -hmm. and your favorite cereal okay well my name is chris lenniker and i graduated from buchanan 2020 and my favorite cereal is um wheaties Wheaties. All right. Wheaties get you big, man. Mm-hmm. All right. So um, my name's Ethan Baird. I graduated from Central High School in 2019. Um, I'm kind of a healthy freak. So if I'm going for a healthy breakfast, I'm going oatmeal All right. every oh, morning. Wow. But okay. dude, if I'm going on the little uh, cheating side, Captain Crunch, 100%. Yeah. There you go. 100%. Wait, wait, wait. Mixed berries or just the normal one? Normal. 100% normal. Oh, hey, okay. but if you're feeling the peanut butter sometimes, oh, not that one. Not that one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's Brad Carroll. I graduated from San Joaquin Memorial in 2019. Uh, favorite cereal's got to be Fruity Pebbles, dude. See, I love Fruity Pebbles too, man. Yeah, I man. like that Fruity. I think there's a lot of great Pebbles. ones out there. Yeah, there's a lot of great there cereals. Is. What's your yeah, favorite sure. cereal, man? Honestly, Chocolate Lucky Charms. Yeah. And they're wow. rare. Wow. But I'm, I'm a Cinnamon hey, Toast well. Crunch guy too. That's my yeah, second favorite. Yeah, you know, it's up there. Oh, sure. But uh, yeah, we want to thank you guys for coming on. Seriously. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. 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 We're fired up. So. We're pumped up. Well, this is actually, this is dope because we've never, we've never done four cameras. And uh, we didn't tell you guys, but your guys' camera, you two, is over there. Sweet. Mine's Sweet. right here. Luke's over there. And then your Brett's, yours right there, man. We got the full huh? setup today, man. Yeah, we got got it all, man. We're we ready. Got it all. We got it done. So let's talk. Let's, let's get into some relevant little sports action. Fresno State had to buy it, dude. Yeah, they did actually. I think that might be good for them. What do yeah. you guys think? After you that, guys, you guys keep up with college football? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Bama. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. dude, yeah. upset. Come, come on, on. Yeah. come on, yeah. bro. That game was Texas crazy, though. Oh, back yeah. and forth, oh, man. Yeah. Hey, it's a Johnny Manziel effect. That's what I'm saying. Hey. Who was there? Who was there? One of my best friends is a big Bama fan. We have a group chat all of our best friends since we were little kids mm-hmm. and the whole time one of our um friends he hates bama and he and then that's his best friend and so the whole time he's just sending videos roll time like, all day long dude i'm at work i open up my snapchat and there's like 20 snaps of this man all different angles just saying roll time <laughs> that's fired awesome up. Bro. fired up man no, it was dude, awesome. i said it last week bro georgia is going to beat bama right Bama couldn't even win right no. here, bro. Yeah. Georgia's the top dog here in college football. Hey, I think they are. Yeah, where, do you guys, where do you guys think they're going to get ranked? I think they'll be below top five now because of, the, of that Who, loss. Oh, Bama? Yeah, Bama. Oh, yeah, they I have think, to be. Yeah, I think by the end of it, they'll move up. Yeah, they'll, I mean, they'll, they'll move back. They'll end like three, probably. Yeah, that's what I think. Three. But, damn, Georgia, they're they're nice, bro. Yeah, there was no, a few no. other good games, man. The Oklahoma and Texas game, I don't know if you guys watched that. Yeah. I mean, two Fresno guys. We had Caleb Kelly and then Xavier Worthy, bro. Dude, that game was nuts, bro. That game was back and forth, back and forth. High school game too it was a fucking shootout you know let's call it so xavier went to central mm-hmm. and so it's crazy to see man because like um he was a freshman on jv and then sophomore on uh varsity and like at the time like i mean he's a dog like we obviously yeah. know that mm-hmm. but central just has so many good receivers and stuff like he wasn't even a main guy and then like his junior year is when he really got touches. Oh man, dude, dude. kid's fast. He's fast. fast. <laughs> he moves. Yeah, no, dude, he had nine receptions, two hundred sixty-two yards, and two touchdowns. Two hundred sixty-two yards. Yeah, two hundred sixty-two oh, yards, bro. Gosh. Like, dude, that's I mean, for a freshman, Texas, oh, bro, that's, that's a statement right I'm not, there. I'm, I'm not dope. gonna sh- go out on a limb, but 
I got a little Devontae Smith vibes from him. Hey, yeah, no, hey, I got that vibe skinny, too. Yeah. Skinny body, just but he moves. moves. Up. Yeah, and he's shifty. There's uh, Arkansas and Nebraska game was pretty good too. Mm-hmm. I saw that. Uh, they were going back and forth. Um, or no, it was Arkansas and Mississippi, I think. My bad. And uh, the Ole Miss game, dude, 51 to 52. Scored 100 Damn, points in a oh game. God. Yeah, 100 points. Both that's teams. a shootout, bro. That's, right? that's, yeah. that's, oh, that's yeah. a wild. That's a college basketball game <laughs> yeah. right there, Dan. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, oh, Ole Miss ended up pulling that game off. So I was like, damn. But yeah, there's exciting college football considering the Fresno State bye. <laughs> they, they bit off. Yeah, I saw it all over Twitter. I couldn't. I wasn't able to watch it. But what do you guys think about Fresno State's like uh, bye week? This you think it would be good for them after last week's loss? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I hope get a week so. to recover, yes. regroup, yeah. Yeah. come back. Yeah, I think ready to go. You know what I mean? Going up to, have, yeah, going up to Wyoming, it will be mm-hmm. good, especially the out. Uh, ev- yeah, ev- uh, can't say elevation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think, think about that. Need time off, yeah, yeah, yeah so sure. they're definitely gonna need that time off. So yeah, I think they're gonna go on a tear, bro. They're gonna I go on a tear. Yeah, so. <laughs> they, are. Too. They, they will. Are you guys, dude? I hope, like, honestly, I saw a tweet about it. I hope the red wave does sh- still show up. I was gonna say that, you know, I haven't been to a game this year yet. But I was mm-hmm. hoping they'd keep winning out, stay high ranked, and then uh, get to go to one with the atmosphere is just fire. I think yeah. the atmosphere will still be yeah. like that. So. Though. Yeah. I hope so. I yeah. mean, I when, when they lost, so. it was it was on Twitter and everything. Everybody was going crazy. Yeah. They were like, "Well, mm-hmm. this is typical Fresno State," and it's like, "Hey, now this is a good yeah. team. This is yeah. a real good mm-hmm. team. They're gonna they're gonna come back. I, mm-hmm. I believe it. So if they show out, I think we'll be fine. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the NFL was nuts yesterday. Dude, there was. I, I was just looking Hell at the scores, man. Yeah. Close ass games, three point games, all over. One point game. I was like, damn, dude. Dude, I won a little bit of money yesterday, bro. Well, yesterday <laughs> I woke up early in the morning and did a little bit of studying, dude. Yeah. I don't know why, but the dude, the, my, the player props, I nail them, bro. Do you? Yeah, That's dude, sweet. I nail them. That's yesterday sweet. I won a bag, like my first bag, like ever. Hey, dude, That's dude. Sweet. Did you yeah. guys so, see the guy that did like the? I think it was like a 10 team parlay and you put like 50 bucks or 500 something and he turned over to like 150 150k bro it was on twitter like it came down to the chargers uh uh, raiders game yeah dude he had a whole party going he was just buying rounds after rounds (laughs) because dude i mean he was gonna make that much money bro (laughs) see i had a five team parlay right i had a five team parlay and then um i had two of them Hmm. one with um the raiders or the difference between one of them was the raiders and the chargers bro the fucking raiders lost and then, <laughs> and then I was just so pissed off about that because, dude, the, the Bears beat the Raiders. Yeah, but oh, Justin oh, oh. Fields only throwing 111 <laughs> yards. How does that happen? I don't know, man. How do hey. you lose? And then the Chargers pulling it off at the end, but that, that won me the bag right there. Five team parlay. So I work at JR Sports on the weekends, and yeah. um, some of the coworkers, mm-hmm. dude, they go in on, and they'll do like 10 team parlays. One of the guys there put ten dollars on eighteen hundred dollars, dude. Eighteen hundred dollars, but he did a ten team parlay. You know how hard yeah, it is. Yeah, that's for sure. Hard, for sure. hard, man. Crazy. Yeah, like, crazy. dude, you guys get crazy. Yeah. And even only if you do all money line, it's that uh, dude. You're still no, predicting yeah. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 games. Ten bro. games. That's crazy. That is nuts. But, do, you, uh, do you bet on any of the baseball games going on right now or no? See, dude, I don't know. Baseball's hard, mm. bro. Because yeah, like, very. dude, baseball's hard in general, bro. Like, you got a dude, pitcher throwing 100 miles an hour coming at you, and you're hitting a round ball with a round bat. It's that's just unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is very I can predict that Tom Brady's gonna fucking hit a couple of his wide receivers five times. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. 100. Yeah, yeah, 100. But no, baseball, that's tough. Do it's you in the air. Baseball? Postseason's here, baby. Oh, dude, yeah. How you guys oh, feeling about that? Ecstatic. Postseason yeah. is here. How you guys feeling about how you guys feeling about it? Let's, let's run down, let's run the down the series. Form. Let's yeah. go Red Sox race starting off right here. Red, Red Sox, Sox race. race. What are you guys thinking? Who's Sox taking that are taking this. You think so? Oh, yeah. See, I'm going Rays, man. I mean I didn't even think it'd be this close. I mean, Red Sox are up 2-1, right? Yeah, 2-1. Two, one. I didn't even think it'd get there, man. I think the Rays are just too loaded all around. Mm-hmm. Just, My thing is, though, Rays are missing a couple of their key pitchers. Hey, they are, yeah, they are. The guy that started oh. game two is like his third start ever. Yes. You, like in young. the postseason. Right. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. So, stuff. I mean, like, that's why I don't know. I think the Red Sox are overly, like, overall best hitting team. I think most consistent team. So, sure. I don't know. I said the, I said the Rays were going to make it all the way to the World Series. So, we'll see. I, I we'll felt see. the same way. I yeah, I wanted them to, but I think the Red Sox are going to. Um, all right, what about the what do we got? The Astros and the White Sox. I want I see. the White Sox to pull uh, yeah. that off. So I want the yeah. White Sox to win. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Like I love Tim Anderson. The fire he brings, man. I think mm-hmm. it's like something baseball really hasn't seen in a long time. Yeah. Like oh, I yeah. love that. Like I love to see them get to the postseason and have that fire. But that Astros lineup. That's Bro, filthy, it's, dirty. It's, it's dirty. It's yeah. dirty. I, I think. I think. I think people are underestimating because everybody's pissed about. Them. No, yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Every like, year, like I swear, like my dad was like, "Oh, who do you think's gonna win?" I was like, "Oh, White Sox." Then all of a sudden, we turn on Game One. 
They got Guriel, batting champion. They got Brantley that's like hitting way above yeah. 300. Then Bregman's an MVP. Like, dude, they're everywhere. Yeah. We're not even talking about Correa. None of them, man. It's crazy. It is crazy. crazy. Mm-hmm. I, that, that I, I think Astros are going to take that one. I don't I know. know. I so too. I know. But, hey, the stadium was so. firing in Chicago last night. Oh, for yeah, sure. Firing. It was. It was. Yeah. It was. I, I got a question about that in a little bit after we finish these ones up. I got a question about that. But uh, who else? Uh, Braves, uh, Brewers, Braves. Damn, oh, that's man. a hard Dude, one. Yeah, that tough. is so hard. That's, I think that's the hardest one. I think, yeah, so, too. I think so, too. I think, yeah. think the Brewers pitch Brewers, is going to carry him. Yeah. I'm a big Freddie Freeman guy, though. Yeah, oh, I want the I Braves to pull it off, dude. I love Freddie. Um, they, got those, they got the players. Yeah. They got the energy. So, I don't know, man. It's interesting. I don't know. I think if they have Acuna, it changes it, though. 100%. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. 100%, yeah. Him being in the lineup is yeah. 100%. Big deal. Yeah, that is true. And then uh, good old Giants. Giant st- st- yeah. Giant Giant stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's oh, that's the one that we get fired up for. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh, man. Giants. Giants. Giants, yeah. Giants. Giants. Yeah. I can't. I'm a Rockies fan. So, uh, I mean, we haven't seen postseason forever, but <laughs> hey, it's all good. But I'm the a Texas I, fan, uh, hey, I feel you. <laughs> so, I, I, but working at like the JR Sports and seeing all the sports fans, I can't stand Dodger fans. Really? Right. Can't yeah. stand them. Why? Like, the, dude, they're so like, like, I can't tell you how many times, like, because I, I love baseball, man. I watch so much of it. So, I start chatting it up with all the uh, customers that come in. Uh-huh. I'll be like, oh, like, uh, what'd you think of, uh, I'll bring some like random player up. Like, say we say, let me think. So not, it's like, oh, I'll say Will Smith. Okay. Some of them will be like, Will Smith. And I'm like, yo, you're a Dodger fan. You come in here buying $500 worth of stuff. Like, I mean, I understand. Like, I mean, there's always going to be those fans. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Mm-hmm. But like, I just feel like I've seen like Giants fans. I feel like they're steady. Like yeah. through the downs, the ups. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, sure. Dodger fans, they just come out of nowhere. <laughs> 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 nowhere. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Out of nowhere, bro. You got to talk. <laughs> You see him on social media. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up? No, that, that's, that's true. That's right there. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, used so I, feel like. Like, I used to like hate the Giants because back in that run when you guys oh, had yeah. like the freaking back to back to back, whatever you guys yeah, had. Three and five. Uh, I was, I'm a Texas Rangers fan. So then they beat us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I forgot was what like, year it was. But dude, you like the fans were just so annoying. But it was 13. I mean, 10 years later, <laughs> they're, like, hey, they they're rocking. Though. They're, they're rocking. They're, they're rocking. going hard. They're, they're, you guys they're rocking. rocking. The yeah. Giants, bro. It's crazy. They, uh, year in, year out, bro. Yeah, I'm going to say when I was watching the postseason <laughs> game so far, like every Giants game I watched makes me just feel like a little kid again. See, yeah. back, yeah. nice. back in the day oh, when yeah. we were little kids, yeah. like, hey, watching them win. And, and they all still that. have a lot of the guys that were there, yeah, man. Like, I'm not Back in 2010. Like, what's going on? It's just hell of flashbacks. Remember seeing them at that, like, in the Grizzlies? Oh my oh, god! Yeah. 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 Posey. yeah, all of them, dude. It's crazy. That Grizzly team was that yeah. was fun. Dude, that was, was a fun time. It's crazy, you, yeah. I was at game yeah. one. <clears throat> Giants versus Dodgers. Oh, really? I was oh, at game really? one, yeah. Dude, how was that? Oh, how was Posey's atmosphere? home run went right over my head. Like, oh, I was, no, yeah, that's sick. That that's atmosphere sick. was intense. Bro, really? oh, yeah. intense. Dude. First inning, mm-hmm. I mean, it had to have been. It I was so imagine. loud. Fuck, like, man. Was it the loudest, one of the loudest Oh, it was loud. Like, very loud. See, dude, I got to see a postseason yeah. baseball yeah. game, bro. Yeah. Let me tell you, by yeah, the fifth inning, you couldn't hear them. They were so quiet. Because I was with a few, yeah. a couple of the teammates, oh, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. They didn't say a word the rest of the night. They were the quietest hey. people ever. Yeah, Ryan was talking a lot. <laughs> he was, he <laughs> was chirping. <laughs> but on the way home, I didn't hear a word. Nah, that's funny. And the whole way out, the Dodger fans are silent, t- tails between their legs, just <laughs> going home, yeah. going south. I, that's another thing about the Dodger fans too. When they lose, they're real. They're real quiet. Yeah, like, yeah. Real, but I'll give quiet. it to them. They bounce back game two. <laughs> yeah, and then they win. Statement. But what, and, do, what do we think about game three? We're taking it to him at LA. I think, so. I think yeah. we're showing Max, up. Max oh, on the mound. I don't know, man. Oh, that my God. Like, see, here's the deal. Here's <sighs> what I see. Hard one. Max Scherzer has been getting like not like lit up, but he just hasn't been as no. dialed in. He as hasn't what been he himself. Uh, no. He hasn't been himself, right? He's Mad Max, so man. It's, yeah, he's he Mad he Max. Yes, but that Mad Max that he's at right now will give up two runs, right? Yeah. No, maybe no more and than the two Giants runs, defense. But, so. Yeah, Giants, the Giants defense, defense is exactly. locked down. That's top notch. Yeah. Hey, did you guys see uh, Max Scherzer's uh, interview after the game when they won the wild he was card? All faded. Oh, yeah, dude. My oh my god, <laughs> dude! I told my dad, I was like, Hey, does he have a does he have a stuttering problem? He's like. Nah, he, yeah, and then at the end you hear him, he's like, "Oh my god, I'm so drunk." That's I guess like, <laughs> that's how he ends the interview. I was like, that's "What awesome. is going on, dude?" Dude, he, he was in his uh, compression shorts 
No shirt, no yeah, pants, yeah, no, nothing. Yeah. I was like, what is That's this right. guy doing? <laughs> no, honestly, he had to have been taking shots oh, during the game. Yeah. You think so? Oh, for sure. You think after he got done, he right just started? Because I was going to say, the, uh, after the, the game, he had to have been fucking a lightweight if he got that. that That's what I'm saying. Uh, Dude, it was not that long <laughs> after. He took some shots, He had to have taken some shots. Had to have some shots. No way. Dude, he went down to the club. He was bro. And it was probably 10 minutes after the game finished. So, like, there's no way he got that. He drinking during the game, for sure. All they had was champagne and beer. There's no way dudes like that. He's sipping Jack and Coke for sure. He can't, like, he, he can't even there. talk. Couldn't even talk. <laughs> he's like, he's like looking down. He, just looked <laughs> he was done. So. Oh, it was awesome. Crazy. And he kept yelling at the oh, um, the man. guys interviewing him. They're like, he's like, there's an echo in here. Dude, I don't think I've ever heard yeah, someone say it's an echo. echo off. Yeah, like, like <laughs> what echo are you talking about? That's what was mad Dude, funny, right? that is so funny. Uh, I, got a, I got the question though. Who's got, who's got the more faithful fans? AL or the NL? Ooh. And and hold on before you guys answer. This is the only reason why I say it because when I was watching the AL game, especially the the Red Sox Yankees game, which I know that's going to be a hyped yeah. up game, but dude, those fans, the whole game from pitch one to the last pitch, both sides of fans going nuts. Faithfulness, I was yeah. like, damn, AL man, they might have it in the bag. Then I watched mm-hmm. the Dodger Giants game, yeah. game one, and I felt the energy, but I didn't feel the same AL vibes. So that's why I wanted to yeah. ask, what do you guys think? AL or NL, who has hard. a true fa- that, faithful fan? Because you have some stadiums yeah. like Cincinnati where fans don't show up, or Tam- like early in the season, Tampa didn't show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tampa didn't show at all. Mm-hmm. True. So there's, there's, I feel like there's an even amount of stadiums between the two leagues that just don't show. Kind like of empty, Orioles, yeah. who the hell goes to an Orioles game nowadays? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> That's single A baseball. I, I yeah. Yeah. You know it's what hard, I mean? bro. I they have to be cheap. It's yeah. so cheap. Twelve bucks, sit right behind the dugout. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> dude, and I feel like even the Twins, they've been good in the past years. I don't see anyone there. Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on? True. But mm-hmm. to so answer your question, I know. I don't know, man. Like, so one of our trainers, I work at DIB and Marcus Walden played for the Red Sox for a long Uh time. So I guess they have this thing in Boston where like you wear the same hat for like, it's like showing like how long you've been a fan. So dudes will pull Mm. up in just crusty hats, right? But like it shows you've been a fan for a long time. Like I feel like when we talk like, bro, think about that. Like if if I'm going to the MLB game, I'm coming dripped up, man. Like I want to look good. I want to look good. But these guys are wearing crusty hats, dude. Like the dad hats. Oh yeah. Oh, Kurt Bill. (laughs) (laughs) Man, it was sitting in the back of the trunk for at least a few months prior. You know. So I I think with New York and Boston, man, I think that just carries that. I gotta go AL. Yeah. AL. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go AL too because I'd say the. Well, you said you felt it in the uh, game one of the, uh, the wild card game, Giant Dodgers series, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, well, Dodgers kind of got blow out, blown out right there, so they didn't really have any uh, yeah. reasons to cheer or anything. So yeah, I guess. Kinda... But I mean, I don't know. I just think uh, it's a tough I just think it's yeah, a tough question. Tough. Dude, what do you it think? Is tough. It is. I, oh man, I think I honestly think I think AL because honestly, the AL I think personally is better. Like they always win in the All Star game, right? Yeah. So I don't know if that just has that that kind of effect on like the fans of the certain teams. Obviously, like you said, the, the Orioles, yeah, like they're they're not going to be selling out yeah. that stadium and going nuts. But I mean, I think I, it goes both ways. But AL, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to say when we're when ultimate fired up, ultimate like faithfulness, ultimate like die hard. I'm like AL probably for yeah. sure because I mean we just said the Dodger fans are. Yeah, some fake fans. Yeah, fake fans. playing, but uh, yeah. So I mean, let's let's get in a little bit to these bandits, eh? Yeah, let's, let's figure out who you guys are. Um, you want you want to get this going or what? Yeah. Well, I mean, Lenny. I feel like Lenny, dude. I feel I've known you too long. Yeah. I mean, I've I Brett. We met few like, years, like yeah, yeah, few years, few years ago. ago, but. We used to play baseball dude, like. Way I was long thinking ago. about this. Do you remember um, Colorado trip? Yes, dude, Jamil and your mom had that big old suite. Dude, it dude, was no, like I know. I still talk five, about that. Five <laughs> rooms, dude. No. Everyone. It was like immediately after the game, RJ's room. <laughs> RJ's room. <laughs> immediately. Bro, we, it was it was Colorado Springs, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's right. We it was a 13-year-old uh tournament. You yeah, know, that Steamboat the, Springs. The World thing. Series. Okay. Yeah, the World Series. Bro, That's we had sick. this villa. It oh. wasn't even a hotel room, it was a villa, bro. It was like five rooms, Jeez. bathrooms, That's living hard. room. <laughs> fucking kitchen bro hey, it was nuts the funniest part is yeah i was there the whole time but we stayed in a whole different hotel like yeah dude, listen to this listen all right so evan snyder was on the team that at that time yeah. one of my best friends growing up since i was a little kid 
And his mom was like, hey, I, I found a room because that that villa was pretty expensive. So like we were staying because I have family in Colorado. So we stayed for like a week and a half after everyone left. Uh-huh. And she found this hotel. It was like a man. I can't remember what even type of hotel <laughs> was, bro, but it was cheap, right? It was cheap. So we show up the first day and Jared Aguilar was staying there, too. Uh-huh. And we walk into this and I'm telling you, like, there's five of us, me, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister. I walk in this hotel. I'm like, there's no way I'm staying here. Like, there's no <laughs> way. Dude, later on, we're, me, Jared, and Evan are sitting here like, we have to get to the villa. Like, we have to. <laughs> it was like the sickest thing, dude. Like, it was the sickest thing. That villa, I was like, I got to get there. Dude, Jared Aguilar looks up on the on uh, Google, our hotel. Dude, a few years earlier, murder case there. No. I swear to God. Dude, hey, he left right away. He was so scared, dude. I swear to you. His dad called my dad. Hey, we're going to the villa. My dad, hey, hey, my dad, he grabbed. Hey, we ain't going nowhere, boy. You see? <laughs> we ain't paying that money. Come on. But hey, you know where I was after the game? The villa. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. You're at the villa. That is funny. I did crazy. not know that. Yeah, so crazy, funny. bro. Crazy. Holy shit. Yeah. That's funny yeah, that you remember funny. that. Awesome, dude. It was such a good trip, dude. Such oh. a good trip. Oh. I think we came in like third or fourth. Yeah, dude. dude. Honestly, I remember <laughs> we had our one of our friends, uh, Asa Adams. You go yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Right? You know Asa? Oh uh, no. But uh, that tournament, we uh, he got he used to get like really, really fucking pissed off. You know how we all oh, used to get pissed yeah, off yeah, when sure. we get in trouble, so like, anything. Yeah. yeah. So this is back when he used to play. He got out one time and he came to the fucking dugout. And the dugouts are small. Like they were not like. Oh, dude, I remember this. He just, he just jumped. jumped yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking like gave himself uh, a concussion. Uh, hit the no. top of the fucking dude, dugout. Smacked and, and, it. And he's like, he's like this. And we're like, dude, you all right? And he's like, yeah, I'm good. And just sat down on the bench. And we're just like, bro, you got to chill. You got to chill. <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, give yourself a concussion. Bro. Dude, do you remember so that bad. team? Oh it was like the D-bat or something. So we played them like one of the first games. Dude, we smoked them. Like, we smoked them, right? We're like, oh, yeah, we're going to be the best team in the tournament. We're uh-huh. going crazy. Dude, <laughs> yeah. then the next, remember we played them the next, like, like two days after because it was a long, like, a week tournament. Uh-huh. Dude, they flew out a whole separate team. Do you Dude, remember no, that? Yeah, they, they flew, flew out, out a whole different team. team. Yeah, a fight to come fuck you guys up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, they smacked us. They smacked us. <laughs> <laughs> we beat them, like, Wednesday, right? Their yeah. Wednesday team was not oh, the fucking Dude, Sunday team. Their no. Sunday team smacked us, like, 15-2 or some dumb shit. We get the text from Jamil. He's like, oh, we're playing D-Bat. All of us like, let's go. We're going to the championship. <laughs> oh, hell no, nah, dude. We show up getting smoked. Dude, and you smoked. know what's crazier? They had the, dude, the uh, same jerseys were on yeah. the kids. Yeah. Just different kids. Yeah, different kids. They just put the same what? jerseys on. Jeez. Oh, That's crazy. You guys ever go to like any like big tournaments like that? Like Cooperstown or anything like that? You go to Cooperstown? No, yeah. no not anything? Cooperstown. I went to I, Cooperstown All-Star Village when I was like 10 or 11, I believe. Yeah. Same thing. I was nine when I went. Yeah. You guys miss travel ball? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So many great memories. That's a vibe, man. That's where you meet all your boys. Like, Dude, oh, for like sure. Yeah, 100%. Like this, for sure. You know? yeah. I can't tell you the amount of people I've played with that are just like, it's like, what in the world? I know. Like, mm-hmm. people that have just been driving with like, and against. Shit, like, top 10 prospects. I'm like, yeah. 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 Like, right? And this fool's in my room. I'm like, you know what I mean? And then, like, a year <laughs> oh, yeah, later, he's getting drafted. You know, and you're like, mm-hmm. people like hey, that. Like, weren't she staying with, like, yeah. the top shortstop in the I, class? I did. Dude, I played I played with the top 2020 shortstop, Milan Tolentino. Oh, really? Where? Yeah. We're like roommates or something. No, yeah. So he was, he stayed in the room right next to me. I stayed with another outfielder who was, I don't know where he was committed, but he was cool. And so I, I got flown out to AZ to play with the the Royals scout team. Mm-hmm. So it's just a bunch of dudes. Like yeah, Shane yeah. Sasaki <clears throat> got drafted by the Rays. He's one of their top prospects. Juan Tolentino, top 2020 shortstop. There's, wow. there's uh that's that's awesome. This Marcus Smith, he got drafted by like the Angels, an outfielder. Um, this player on Cal Berkeley right now. He um he plays outfield and he's a pitcher. Dude, so yeah, I was dude. with some dudes. Like he was, yeah. he throws like ninety six now. It's like what the hell? Like back then, he I remember I played third for him, and he was throwing like ninety three, ninety four, and yeah. I was just like, holy <clears throat> hell! You know what I mean? Like, and I remember I, like this dude hits a rocket at me, and I just remember just backhanding it, got the play, and he was just hyped. Like he was just like, and I was Damn. like, and you know what I mean? Like let's go! Like just on me, you know what I mean? Like hella hyped, and I'm like, oh for sure! Like yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah, this dude's like this gone. dude's lit! Like yeah. I was like, that's cool! Like just looking around the diamond, like damn. D1, D1, D1. Yeah. And it's like, mm-hmm. holy hell, you know what I mean? And I'm like, That's this fresh. whole team, 16 players, you know what I mean? It's all D1s. Like, yeah. And then six Where of was them this? drafted. It was in Arizona. Oh, okay. So we actually, it was some, oh. since we were on the Royal Scout team, we got to go into their facilities. Like oh, we were like, in the Royals like locker room and like we were like 
we were on the Royals. Like it was like yeah. it was lit. Like it was the craziest experience of my that's life. Badass. That's so. You know I mean, like Holy shit. four that's days. Good. They have the YouTube videos of that that Philly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, dude, I dude, love that. that thing. It's insane. I love it. That shit's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, we we walked to the the practice fields and the Royals were practicing on one of the fields. Like wow. all their guys were right there, and we just walked by and like they just all looked like waved at us and stuff. It was that's like oh sick. my god. Like, Let's do it. Like, it was good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Hosmer's right there. Like, it was just like, oh, my God. Like, it was crazy. I don't Dude, know about nuts. you, bro, but, like, I feel like, because there's been times I feel like all of us have played with, like, top, uh, like, tier yeah. players mm-hmm. and stuff. And I feel like once you, like, right there next time, you're like, dude, I can do this, you know? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. how I feel. Like, you, you start Absolutely. realizing, like, these guys are human, too, yeah. man. Like, because, I mean, I, I know a lot of times, like, we see the top rated guys, but, like, how do you even get there? Then you start, once you start working with them and stuff, man, they're the same type of people. Exactly. Exactly. Same person, right? exactly. yeah. Yeah. I have an example for you. Yeah. So <clears throat> 2017, when I was playing for Buchanan, we traveled to LA okay. for a tournament. We played Royce Lewis. Well, in 2018, Royce Lewis is number one no pick. pick. Yeah. Okay. So we got, to, I got to play against him, right? Yeah. And I'm watching and he's like hitting like triples, doubles. And like, mm-hmm. like he's just like, a no- he, but he like looks like he's just human. I yeah, yeah. Like exactly. Human, right? But what he did well, I could tell that made him stand out is he was consistent, bro. He's Dude, consistently finding barrels. He's every consistent time, every doubles. swing. Yeah. It's like he's not he's not having a bad swing. No, that's the difference ever. between a great player and a, yeah. a good player. Uh, no, Dude, I mean, you see it like in BP with like everybody. Man, we all can launch balls. Right, like, that's right. the thing. Yeah. But like it's just and that's the same thing. What's the difference between a triple A guy and a big league guy? Like they got the same tools, m- majority of them. I mean, obviously yeah. we got like Trout and Tatis. They're just. Yeah. God yeah, gifted, yeah. but I mean, at the end of the day, who can do it on day to day basis? Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all about, too. Yeah. <laughs> to, to go back on that point right there, the difference between AAA and a major leaguer, how much do you think of it is luck at that point? Because I feel like to go up from AAA to Some of the major sure. leagues, like you either have to, someone has to get hurt, mm-hmm. someone, something has to happen where a position oh. opens. And, yeah. and like, think about yeah. it. How many guys? go up to the league and never come back down. Oh, yeah. They mm-hmm. need to get released once their contract's over. But, like, once you get to that triple A level, like, you could work your way up to triple A. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But, like, pretty I quickly. Like that, yeah. Pretty and then quickly, once you yeah. get there, you can get stuck there yeah, for a long time. Stuck there, dude, yeah. Because if you're in a place where, you know, you got a, a freaking veteran, you got Freddie Freeman yeah, playing exactly. up on the Braves in front of you at first base, and exactly. you're a first baseman, you're like... It's just luck, like yeah. you said, man, where you get drafted as long as it's a good fit. Yeah. I mean, some guys, like, for example, if you got drafted for the Giants eight years ago and you're a catcher like a hey, buster's been there the whole time man. Yeah. You're, you're not getting a shot yeah, right? you know? so, like, sit down, buddy. Yeah. 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 so for i mean like i guess for that though like it's also it's also a matter of business too yeah, right uh, you know absolutely. they're not going to keep a guy in triple a for a ton of years yeah. if he had if they drafted Murley and they yeah. had a lot of money on him mm-hmm. if, if they haven't spent a lot of money then they'll keep him there and maybe yeah. if he shines one day pull him up it all depends yeah. who they're drafting to the next year and the that's year what i'm saying that, yeah. Yeah. It, it really just years what you're in the business who the hell are they getting you mm-hmm. know what i mean because they can bring in the same position and you guys talked about that with uh coach simon too yeah. I saw that. Yeah, like he was talking about like dude like if we just invested what like Five million on a guy, and we just and he's not doing the thing. We're gonna give him the chance, though. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. We're yeah. they're still giving him the chance, you know? yeah, because they invested more in him. Yeah, they don't want to lose that investment. No, heck no. So they like, um, like, uh, actually, I don't want to say his name right now, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna do that. But um, you just got back. Uh, you just got back from a so- sophomore showcase, huh? I did. Yeah. yeah? How was that? It was, what, what was the deal about that? What was all that? It was cool. It was, so it was um, it's all a lot of sophomores, like uncommitted sophomores. I mean, it was just a game. Like so, we played eight innings. So I played four, the first four, and then a whole new lineup would come in and play five through eight. And it was just you just would go. Yeah, and a bunch of college uh, or, uh, tons of scouts behind. You know what I mean? Just I mean, it was packed the whole behind the stadium. Like where was this at? Eight. It was in Folsom. Oh, okay, Folsom cool. Lake. Cool. So it was cool. Um, How'd you do? I did all right. One for two, two walks. Played second base. Good defense. Like I, I didn't do bad at all. I mean, like Cole Brinsfield played outfield. He did good. Had a hit. Uh, sent away. He played okay. first over there. He did pretty good. Nice. So we all showed out. Like That's we good. Were all, we all did pretty good. That's good. Was there was there any like dudes out there? Us, dude. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> exactly. like, like straight up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, there was no one that was there that we were like, all right. Yeah, you guys are better than us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we all were like, we got each and every single one of you in every category. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you have the guys that are going to run the 6'6 six, six or the 60. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I ain't running no 6'6. Six, six. Okay. <laughs> like, that is, that's not, you gotta be God that's, no. that's not part of my <laughs> yeah. game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll I'll run, but it ain't gonna be a six six. So uh-huh. like those guys, yeah, those they stand out there, but 
how are they hitting or like how's their arm in the outfield compared to Coles? You right. know what I mean? Or consistency, like how, you're how saying. do they field compared to me? Or you know what I mean? How do they hit compared to Brad? And so it's like right. I got you. We I feel like all of us were just like Well, that's good, man. If, if I was to take a player, if I was a coach, I'd be like, it's one of the city guys for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, congrats on that, man. Good job. Yeah. How uh what do you think about the JD? Move over to Clovis West. I had to ask you. Memorial that hurts, graduate. Bro. That hurts. Yeah. Really? That, I mean, because that's my that's my guy. Like I love yeah, Coach yeah. Sales. Like right. I'll do anything for that family. Like <clears throat> him and his dad, they mean so much to me. Like mm-hmm. they're they're some of the best coaches I've ever had. The whole coaching staff. But I was just like, damn. Like we we would shit on Clovis West <laughs> every year. You know what I mean? Like we would shit on them. Like we never lost to Clovis West. You right, know what I mean? Right. And I played. He was my coach uh, sophomore year to right. senior year. So I had him for mm-hmm. three years. And never once lost. You know, you know, that was like the most hyped game besides Buchanan. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like we always wanted to beat Buchanan, but Clovis West was like he was like, I won't fucking lose to that team. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he was just like, I will not lose. That's that a team. school, right? That was where he he went to. Yeah, that was yeah. his alumni school. So okay. and then he went there and stayed in Pacific. Uh-huh. So so I was just like, all right, we can't lose. So it was like we had a bigger purpose to win that game. You know what I mean? Like, I it was just like we just because that team was a family, dude. Like there's that was different. Like. I, yeah, like everyone said, we were talented, but like the chemistry that we had was. Now you guys were a family man. Different, you know what I mean? Like that's, I think that's what makes what I think that's what we need to get more of at City. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that comes with a lot of off-field activities, right? Yeah. And spending more time together, not just <clears throat> baseball stuff, because you can only do so much baseball-wise with each other, mm-hmm. and you can't really connect as a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. when you're on the, the field, field yeah, like, yeah. like this type of stuff you know what i mean like yeah. doing stuff like this i feel yeah. like that's what like, builds it and that's what we would do at memorial like it was we would spend so much time off the field and i feel like that's why you guys had, did and had the success you guys had my, my sophomore yeah. year we were eight and 24 or whatever yeah. and we came back and was 27 and five yeah, or whatever we like were about yeah. the years you know what i mean so it was right it's incredible like, bonding, right? Yeah, yeah right like, and like yeah and, and i feel like um, our first year since this is our this is mine and Brett's third year city. So our first year, um, we, we I mean we were everywhere together, and it wasn't just like three of us; it was the whole team. And yeah, I remember, whole yeah, squad. Yeah, because yeah. like, we had a so this is it was last year. I feel like to be honest with you, we were more talented last year. The guys we had, like we had some dudes, yeah. straight dudes. That like, lineup was crazy. Like, like James crazy. is literally crazy. probably the best hitter I've seen. Like, Dude, uh, on a consistent basis, how we talk consistency crazy like i would yeah. like um my first year there when he just transferred mm-hmm. um i would sit on the bus because i was right out of high school man and these guys he was just at oregon yeah, i want to pick yeah. his brain talk to <laughs> yeah, him right? mm-hmm. yeah. so on the way home i would just talk to him man he's just a dude like he helped me dude. out so much he's awesome man yeah. great guy great guy but like our first year there i don't think we had as much talent but i mean there was a guy from japan casey walker and then travis moore was from um arizona so they had their own uh, um apartment Dude, we were there every single day, mm-hmm. like before practice, after yeah. practice, on the weekends. We were together. Like it, it. If we went to a Fresno State game, it wasn't just four of us. It was the whole team. Whole squad. Like, whole squad. Was, you know, and and like, yeah. I felt like at the end of the day, in the bottom of the ninth with two outs, we were pulling for everybody. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. last year, like I, I felt like, like like we said, the the talent was there. Like don't oh, yeah. get me wrong, we we're so. I feel like when we took the field not a team more talented than us Mm-mm. but like we just lacked that one thing i felt like what he said was just yeah. that bonding man like yeah like that's a huge part of the game, yeah. Yeah. Part of the game. Yeah. i know you guys watch the uh, pat mcafee show mm-hmm. okay so um i know he talked about something he was like uh, super bowls aren't won on the field or at practice they're won like in the bar and oh, he, that's what he's talking about dude because like at the end of the day like at the field yeah we're grinding with each other but like at the end of the day like all the guys I'm playing against, I'm trying to beat them out too. You know, like that's yeah. just a competitive person we are as athletes. But like, dude, if we're just sitting at say their apartment talking, we're talking about their family. We're talking about their high school life. Like it was just it digs in deeper to where you really care for that person now, Absolutely. rather than him. He's a brother now, not just a yeah. teammate. You know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like once you have that great bond within a team, you become selfless. Oh, for sure. Right? For now sure. Now it's like. You're up to bat. Now you don't. You're not worrying. You're not no, thinking about. Not at all. Have to do it all. No, yeah. not at all. Like, you're just up there doing your thing. Right. You know, your boys got your back. Yeah. yeah. Your boys got your back. Th- those bondings. I'll tell you one thing. They're a lot more fun when you win. Yeah. Oh, oh, for sure. God. For I, I, sure. I went over to hang out after I took over for four. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'll be there, but I might be a little more quiet. You know. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll open up a little bit. But it, hey, if we have a good day, the Rams win. Oh, the Rams are hot. We're hot. The Rams are hot. Baby. 
That's, That's awesome. Funny. So hey, take us. Let's take, let's go through a day to day basis of a Ram, right? But we got multiple z- positions here, so yeah. I want to hear a, uh, the day in the life of like a pitcher right now. Okay. Um. So every morning I get up around ten, nine or ten, and then I'll uh, crank out some homework in the morning, and then normally head to practice. What times practice start? Practice will ranges, start like. Yeah. Ranges. Three. Sometimes we got to be there at two for lifting beforehand. Okay. Um, but normally I'll get there around one, one thirty, just to be early. Yeah. Um, it's good, man. And then after practice, we'll normally I'll go to the gym. I'll go straight to GB three, get my lift in, get home, get my protein in, and then uh, call it a day. You're a big man, man. You got you big must see a lot. Big red, baby. Yeah. <laughs> big red, dude. This last year has been a change. Yeah. It's how been how insane, like, man. So? Well, I mean, I'd say or New Year's last year, I was about six three two forty five, mm-hmm. and right now I'm six three one ninety five. So, uh, hey, I have to yeah. say, like six <laughs> seven four. <laughs> 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 hey, when you were in summer ball, you posted like a picture on your story. Yeah, and, dude, you were sh- shredding. Yeah. And, uh, I, ca- I called. Yeah. Uh, I think I called JD. I was like JD because I didn't have your number at the time. But I was like, call JD. I was like JD what is Lenny? <laughs> like, I was like, this guy is yo. Yeah. Like, dude, he, did you, did you and JD work out a lot there? Oh yeah. Cause like I, I mean, day. I know how he was in high school. Oh my God, dude, yeah, he just dude. loved the gym, bro. He just shredded, shredded. He still is that way. Oh all yeah. Until now, no, right? That's... So I figured when you went with him, you were going to hop right on that too. So mm-hmm. you guys were working out a lot there. Yeah. We yeah. worked out pretty much every day. That's definitely what helped me. JD's yeah. a big part. That's sick. That that's awesome. awesome. Mm-hmm. Now has that became kind of like a daily routine for you now? Like, oh yeah. You, you yeah. love it? Yeah. I love, I love being in the gym. That's good. It helps man. me relax, honestly. You get your mind off things. Yeah. 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 A little escape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that is a lot for everybody too. Like gym oh, yeah. Yeah, for me, yeah. a little car ride, a little car drive or something. Just oh, to yeah. get your mind off things off the normal, you know? Mm-hmm. It's important. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is important. Let's hear it, Freddie Freeman. What's your day like? <laughs> Man. Uh, <laughs> hey, I've gotten that multiple he does, he does. I got that. I got that multiple times. Um, all right, not gonna lie, my day in life is crazy, man. Like a lot of people tell me like I so I just got a trainer two years ago, and it's uh, one of my good friends, Jalen Johnson's brother. Ooh, shout out to J Boy. Yeah, we got shout out to him. Sweet Feet. Lo- I love Johnny, man. They call him Champ. And uh, I don't know if you guys watch the Tiger Woods documentary. I did. That was the I first person that. I heard that they call him Champ. So I, I go to workouts the next day. I'm like, hey, I got so there's either three oppor- three chances why they call you Champ. Either one because you like Tiger Woods, two because you had uh, clamp people up like Champ Bailey, or three because you're a Champ. He said, E. Don't ask me this question. I'm the champ. I said, oh, okay, okay. So, damn. so I got, I got with them, right, dude. So my my lack in my game is speed. Like that's my one tool that I really got to work on. So when COVID hit, mm-hmm. man, we we had we we're supposed to have a two week break, right? Everyone thought two week break. I'll come back. So I called my best friend Trent Tompkins up. I said, hey Trent, I, I need a speed guy. Like that's the one tool I'm lacking a little bit. He said, hey, called a uh, champ. I was like, champ, you're telling me to call Johnny? Like he's gonna get me right? He said, bro, the best in the valley. So. I give him a call. Um, I'm like, hey, champ, I need to get right. <laughs> That's the first answer. I need to get right. And uh, he's okay. Send me your daily plan. Dude, I tell you guys, this was like an essay. Like, I've been told so many times, but you got to chill out. Like, I know, like, a lot of people, like, like my daily routine is crazy, man. Like, I love it. And, like, I don't know if um, the Derek Jeter, he talks about, like, his biggest fear is not being prepared. Uh-huh. I couldn't agree more. Really? I'm so scared of being not prepared. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, th- just this last week, I finished a swim class. I took swim class just for fun, <laughs> okay. and so I swim no, for an fun. hour. Um, get out, go to work, and then I get to the field at twelve o'clock for a three a three o'clock practice. Mm-hmm. Twelve o'clock. Wow. Lenny <laughs> told me one day he's like, "Hey, how long are you here for?" <laughs> I'm like seven hours. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, I'm at the field for seven hours. So I have a I have a whole routine. Start out with foam rolling. I got the little massage gun. Do that. Then I have um. So I, I know we were talking about this, but I fractured my spine twice. Yep, yep. So um, I had knee surgery. So I've had quite a big injuries. Those are all in high school. So um, I do all like um, like pre-rehab, you know, uh-huh. stuff to make sure that that's not going to happen again. Um, I'm big on, when I was a kid, I was not flexible at all. So I'm huge on flexibility. Um, I do all that stuff. Like I do this whole routine. It takes like two hours. Like I'm, in there. I'm not He's lying. He's in there for a while. <laughs> I'm not oh, yeah. lying. So you like, do this every day? Every day, bro. Like before every practice? Day. Every day. That's what you got to do to get your body yeah. right, though, man. It's just I mean. to get me right. And, like, um, so then I'll go in, hit for an hour, get get my swings in. And and it's kind of crazy. I, I People ask me, do you have, um, like, are you superstitious? And I'm like, no, no. And I think about it. I'm like, dude, 
I do the same thing every day. <laughs> like, yes, I'm superstitious. Yeah. So I think about that. But just get in the cage, work with uh, Coach Rockford, our hitting coach, mm-hmm. and then uh, go go home. So then I'll stay after practice, hit again uh, with some of the guys, and then go to straight to the gym. I mean, it changes up. Um, I, ha- I do all kinds of stuff. It's kind of cool. I do a Pilates. I go. do a hot yoga for recovery, both of those for recovery. Mm-hmm. And then I have like a, about two – so I work, work out six days a week, two speed days, two lifts, and then two recovery days. Dang. So that's crazy, man. It's a long day. It I is mean, a long day. When I, when I had to swim, I'd get, leave around like a 7.30 to get there at school at 8, and I wouldn't be home until about 10. Damn. Yeah, You're a busy dude. guy. Bre- cool Bre- thank you for finding the time to come on today. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. Course, that's dude. hey when you guys listen, packed. it's crazy. Uh, I mean, once we had started this, I mean, RJ, even in high school, like I, I was watching it. I, I swear to you. And, and I don't know if you remember, though, but do you remember when uh, you guys would go, we'd go to the volleyball games? Yeah. And Central and Buchanan yeah. were the biggest yeah. rivals. Dude, I have some of the best stories from that. They, they had the Valley game. And, uh, dude, for, we, Marcelo would talk the most trash. <laughs> <laughs> most trash, right? Most yeah. trash. So uh, we made this sign, dude. I don't, do you remember this sign? I, uh, dude, I remember all the signs. I don't know what sign you're talking about. Dude, Let's hear it. So, just, so me and Jess Henry went to the game. We, we wrote the sign. And it was like, uh, Marcelo, stop talking. Eat those 60. Oh. <laughs> and then, hold on, hold on. They, they had a whiteboard, right? So we held that one up, dude. And then uh, they hold it up. And it was like rumors that uh, Justin was transferred to Buchanan. That uh-huh. year, and they hold up the sign. I was like, "Wait, Justin, you still want to come?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, dude, it was so funny, and it's actually crazy because it goes yeah. full circle. The world yeah. goes full circle. Oh yeah, 100%. dude. Like three years later, me and Justin are at City. Yeah. And who transfers back? Marcel. Marcel. <laughs> yeah. He walks <laughs> the first day. I'm kind of sitting there, I'm like, "Dude, do you still hate us?" Like, <laughs> dude, it was a packed gym. We held up the sign and said, "Beat those 60. So I was like. Dude, this guy might hate us. Dude, I was just sitting there with me and Justin. Like, do we say hi? Do we say hi? Like, I did. Me and, me and Justin have been best friends forever. So he's yeah. like, I'm like, do we say hi? Like, looking at him, he's like, nah, just be cool. Be cool. We'll see. <laughs> dude, dude, not even a week later, we're traveling to Taft and uh, we're sitting like, all three together. Uh-huh. Best buds, man. Just talking it up. Well, uh, it's funny. We, um, I bring some of my friends to the team bodies and uh-huh. stuff. One of my friends is leaving for the Marines. And uh, dude, the one guy he always brings up, Marcelo. Hey, hey, Cello coming, Cello coming. He's like, because uh, we all love clothes and stuff. Uh-huh. He's like, dude, Cello has drip. Where's Cello? Where's Cello? Oh, <laughs> so shout out Cello. They, they, my friends think you have drip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that so that's was funny. That yellow and blue, though, every oh, day. So yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys want to hear something funny, bro? He, he calls me one time, FaceTime through. Or no, no, no. Might have been a Snapchat video or something like that, but it was right when he just got to Bakersfield, yeah. right? And I think he was like, he was trying on some of the blue and yellow fits and all that, and he sends me a video. He's like, Hey, bro. He's like, honestly, man. He's like, I don't know how I'm gonna wear the, these colors, man. He's like, the blue I can do, but like, I'm wearing a yellow shirt right now. He's like, I'm wearing a yellow shirt, and like, I don't know if it looks good, bro. And, like, he's like, I don't know. I just yellow's not my not color. Not my yeah. And he's like, going, like, he's all stressing about it, right? And I'm like, no, nah, man, you look good. You're good. Bro. You're chilling. Bro. Hey. You're good. And now he's like, he's chilling. Now he's okay, bro. I just thought that was hella funny. Brett, let's hear your day, man. Uh, most days. I'm- Early bird, like yeah. six yeah. six thirty. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Head to the gym. I like to get my lift in early. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just kind of wakes me up. Makes me feel good throughout yeah. the day. Shower Shanti. after. Yeah. You know, yeah. And get Hell yeah. Just shower, eat breakfast. Um, just do some homework. Get ready, and then I live in Madera, so it's about twenty five minute drive to get to city. So I leave about twelve, twelve fifteen. When I get to city, I do my rehab, some arm care. I hurt my ankle, so I got to get my ankle taped up and stuff. I do some rehab for that before some bands and stuff. And then go hit. Go hit from one yeah. thirty to practice time. Sometimes I stop hitting and do some ground balls or some some short hops. Yeah. You know, the infielders would do some short hops and stuff like that on our knees. And just practice, go home, grub, you know what I mean? Have some dinner and just maybe do some more homework if I have it. If not, and just Rebirth Island, you know what I mean? Yeah, Drop yeah. in, you know what I mean? Play some more zone. <laughs> but um, just trying to like, uh, feel bad going after eat. It makes me look like my day's not packed or anything like that. You know what I mean? It makes me look like I don't do nothing. No, yeah, that one's just another level. But uh, I mean, considering since you guys are all, you know, all got a little routine and everything, and, and the grind, especially at the Juco level, being as important as it is, and it's really. It's really, in a sense, all up to you guys, right? At, oh, at this level, it's all up to you guys to make it to that next level, right? And it's all up to you guys to eat right, to work out, you know, to do all those things and to stay mentally and physically in shape, right? Mm-hmm. So how important is it that you guys, you know, stay in your routine, stay in your guys' shape? You know, how important is that? 
I think my routine is everything. Like talk about the grind. Like, like that. Without my routine, I'd say like I'm just doing this, doing that. Like on the, uh, I forget the word, but just pick it up on like during the day. Um, but like at practice and whatnot, um, we'll all the pitchers will get there around three, and then um, we'll start doing bands and stuff. Or we'll get there 2.30, sorry. And then we'll do bands until 3. Start throwing. Stretch. Um, and then um, we'll more, get into more our... More of kind of what I'm trying to say is like in a sense of like, right? You guys you guys don't have the... Your pitching coach in it isn't telling you to get here at 2.30. Oh, and no. He's not telling you to do these bands. He's not mm-hmm. telling you. What I'm asking for you guys is like for the viewers who don't understand at the at the JUCO level that truly it's up to you guys to work, to want to mm-hmm. the work. Yeah. I, it, sure. You got to show up to practice, yeah, and they're yeah. gonna they'll do your thing. But at the end of the day, to get to that next level, it's a matter of like you guys all just said, working out, all eating right, all oh, yeah. waking up at that right time, all going to bed, doing your guys' thing that you guys need to do before, right? Mm-hmm. That's so like talk about that importance. But everyone does that at every level, right? Yeah, there's just I mean, there's different things that well, that we have to do different. that we do different yeah. because they they what are those things? See, so like D one, they can only be on the field for so so long like there's only a certain amount of time you're allowed to practice in the fall and like we don't have that rule we can be mm-hmm. on it forever so i feel like the ex- being able to go to the field and spend that extra time is is what makes a difference for us mm-hmm. but not everyone does that yeah you know what i mean we so it's those guys like too. it's like you said who chooses to go out to the field early mm-hmm. and put that extra work in you know what i mean like d1 they only have a certain amount of time okay we go to practice two to six or whatever you know what i mean that's what they do we're we can go from 12 to 7 12 to 8 if we want and yeah. some nights we we do that so we're there yeah. eight hours we haven't eaten since 12 you know what i mean so mm-hmm. like unless you're like eating takes his lunch hey, but <laughs> <awesome. Yeah. laughs> you know he walks around with a lunch pill yeah, i got a huge lunch pill mom bought me like i just carried everywhere like i think like with going on with your question luke like i feel like a lot of things at D1, they're just like there for you. Like, and for here, we and have so scheduled. Like, yeah, they well, stay on a schedule. Yeah, they stay on a schedule. They have a meal plan. Yeah, they have, yeah. All that. They yeah. have that set up for them. So it's like, okay, they're already on a routine. Their mind already gets set up for that daily schedule. Yeah. We're not on that routine. So we have no. to do it ourselves. Show, so, like, yeah. that's why we each had a different schedule. Grind but we're, means more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But we're each grinding, but we're just doing it in a different way, a different schedule. You know what I mean? They're all in the same program. Mm-hmm. yeah i mean i feel i feel like it just comes down to like you said like how bad do you really want it like mm-hmm. i mean i feel like it's funny my so i live with my parents still and i mean it's a blessing being able to be there not to pay for rent stuff exactly, like that yeah. like i really appreciate that mm-hmm. um they they told me okay we'll buy you your uh, groceries but you have to make everything so i so whenever time i have to leave i have to get an hour earlier make sure i make my food because i'm not gonna I mean, at the end of the day, I, I think we'd all be lying there sitting here that we don't want to make it to the league, right? Like, I think yeah. that's all of our goals. I think everyone in JUCO, I think everyone from NAI to D1, that's everyone's goal. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. And I just feel like, I mean, personally, like I said, like, I'm so scared of not being prepared that I feel like I just want to, when I'm up there in the ninth or something, the two outs, I want to know that I did everything I could to be able to succeed right there in that situation, you know? Yeah, so, absolutely. so, I mean, I... I have, like you said, I have my lunch pail. They make fun of me, but I got this huge lunch pail that it carries around. Every day I have the exact same thing. I eat the same thing every day. So I have my oatmeal with me. I have, it's t- two, sc- two big scoops of oatmeal, like two <laughs> servings. Like, yeah. bro, it's almost, almost over. Like ice cream scoops or what? Oh. Like big yeah, one, so <laughs> take one cup, scoop, uh, scoop it in, another cup, boom. Like, bro, it is huge. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was crazy. So it's, I mean, I'm still kind of a smaller guy, but. I, I weighed last year or last season 169 and I'm up to 180 now. Like I put on a lot of weight and I was oh, trying yeah. to figure out, I was talking to um, Johnny, Jalen's brother. I was like, dude, how did, cause obviously when Jalen had to get to what got to the league, he had to bulk up too. I said, how did you do it? He got me on the same plan as him. That's a nice thing, man. Just hooking up with people that mm-hmm. are already there. So you know what it takes. And so I have the um, two oatmeal. Then I have a protein smoothie with the PB and J. Gotta get love the PB and J. Then I have, they make fun of me for this, but I have a, uh, chicken breast with uh, mixed veggies and just straight brown rice. I don't put anything on it. It's just just like that. And I eat that uh, right before practice. Then after practice, have another protein shake with a PB and J, and then that's when I'm off to the gym. So then I hit the gym, and I have my chicken, brown rice, and veggies. Like I think, like at at the D1 level, you just walk into the cafeteria, bro. Yeah, and they got it all. I, my my car, I get everything yeah. I want. Yeah. Like, I know, like even at um, at uh, for Trent at D1 UC Davis. 
his protein shaker, they're sitting right there after practice, bro. Just ready. They're yeah. ready to go for you. Like I, I like we have to all do that ourselves. And yeah. it comes down to honestly at the end of the day, how bad you want it. Yep. And I feel like I think that's what makes City so different. Like I know that a lot of our coaches even say it. they don't we're a different program because they're not there to coach us. They're just they're there if we ask them to coach us. Yeah. So they if they need them. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a real it's almost like a professional like program, man. Like they're real hands off. They're not gonna tell you anything. If you're 0 for four on the day, they're not gonna tell you, hey, E, your bat's not pushing back. You're not locking into your load. Even though that they know that, but mm-hmm. they're not gonna wait. They're not gonna tell me they're waiting for me to ask. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, at the, at the big leagues, you think that after Jose Altuve or someone strikes out, they're running over there. Hey, Jose, you're not doing this. He don't wanna hear that, no. man. He, so, I mean, it's just like at the end of the day, you're gonna get what you asked for. Mm-hmm. I think that's a big thing with Jugo. Yeah, I think wow, so. I've never I've never heard of that uh, perspective on that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, that makes sense yeah. though, no, right? Because like, I mean, after after let's say you have a terrible day, you yeah. know, over four, the last thing you want is to talk about oh, over yeah. four. That's right? what I'm saying. Yeah. Get out of there, yeah. and then the yeah. next practice you show up, okay, then you're ready. All right, yeah. let's yeah. figure it out. You know? And I think that's a big rule too. I feel like, and we've <clears> talked about it too. Um, I had one of our coaches in an air squad. I had a first AB double, second AB ugly, just ugly. And I mean, I think everyone has those. And he comes up. About two innings after, he's like, um, so what do you think about that A-B? And I, and I looked at him. I said, what A-B? He's like, that A-B you just had. I don't know what you're talking about. And we've talked about this. When I've, I've got to the point where, like, you can't carry that on, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you can. Like, it, it's such a long game. My A-B in the first is, does not mean one thing for my A-B in the ninth. Mm-hmm. You know? So I, so I have this rule. We've talked about it. Like, once, once we take off our batting gloves, it's done. Got to let it go. Over. Because, I mean, it's just such a long game. I feel, feel like baseball is like that. That's one of the sports that I feel like the ball is going to find you in the def- in defense. You're going to come back in a key spot hitting. And you can't – if I'm up, the last thing I want is face the 94. Say we're playing Sac City on a Friday night like we did our first year. And that's already tough enough. You yeah. know? And now I'm thinking about, dude, I look stupid on that first AB on that curveball. Like how now how am I going to hit 94? Right. Yeah. 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 Too much, yeah. So just got to flush it. Mm-hmm. Flush it. So what's going to be, what do you guys think is going to be the biggest difference from last year's team compared to this year's team? I mean, Probably for, yeah, go ahead, how much go we ahead. gel, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Because yeah. last year's team, we're all there to play baseball. And this yeah. year's team, like I'm here at least to uh, get out of here, right. like at City at least. Like I want to, like I'm pushing myself so hard this year that I'm trying to not come back to city right like um I'm, i want to be at a four year after this school because mm-hmm. like being a juco band is fun and all but whew, yeah. that shit is tiring yeah, yeah. you, so you guys it's, you think you it's a lot of work gelling together right now. You guys yeah yeah full full throttle mm-hmm. and yeah. think about it the best way that everybody gets out of there right you yeah. all gel together and yeah. you're all yeah. just fucking grind and yeah. say let's fucking do this let's get it done this year and let's all get the fuck out of here and let's keep you know exactly keep our yeah. going. i think the more looks we get is depending on how our team performs yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. i mean i think at the end of the day like last year i mean james was the best catcher in the state we saw that yeah. in all state rankings but like i feel like there wasn't that many teams to watch us because we weren't even ranked in the state you know like mm-hmm. i mean i think a, a long way we were the first half season we were just because everyone's like oh it's fresno city but then, like at that bottom half, I mean, we were we weren't even ranked, and it's yeah. crazy to think that just because it's such a good program we have. And I feel like last year we had so many like um, bounce backs and stuff that I mean that helps us. Don't get me wrong; like those guys have so much talent, and I love all of them that came. But like mm-hmm. I feel like this year, it's more of our guys that have been waiting around. Like I know mm-hmm. I feel like like me and Brett have been there for three years. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I love the program, but there's I can't afford to stay another year. Like, yeah. I just had a meeting with our athletic counselor. She said, there's no more classes for you to take. Like, she's like, you have to take all PE. I have two degrees already there. Like, it's crazy, man. It's right. crazy. So, I feel like right now we just want it so bad that I feel like this team is just all in. I mean, mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good to have. That's important. That's awesome. Yeah, that is very important. When does uh when does season start? You guys got, I mean, a few months, right? Uh, yeah, months? for sure. January twenty eighth, yeah. oh, I believe. January. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. So, okay. So, yeah, so it, comes, it like picks two. up quick because we have uh. So I think I heard that we're stopping in November this fall, right? Yeah. yeah right after we play Sac City, like November eleventh, yeah. we're done. Yeah. We're done until January tenth. Um, school starts mm-hmm. back up. We have practice again. Yes, because you can't oh, practice yeah. when school's on session. So. Um, oh. sc- first day of uh spring semester is january 10th and so you think about it, it's like two weeks so the first game 
Yeah. yeah. I know. And it's going to be fast. here. Like, it's going to be like fast. tomorrow, you know? Like, it just happens. Oh, like with, especially with the holidays coming up, oh, everything yeah. just flies by flies faster. By, yeah. by. Cause flies I, by. I mean, it feels like there's like a holiday every other week. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right. for we're sure. We're celebrating, we're getting all together yeah. with exactly. family. And, and I, all that. I mean, I know personally, like I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving. Yeah. And Thanksgiving gets here, then I'm looking forward to Christmas. And then Christmas gets here so fast. Like, it just keeps rolling. Yeah, mm-hmm. just and then we're on to yeah. 2022, man. And yeah. it's a that's just hey, wild. Yeah, that's, exactly. Yeah. It's time to go. Full go, man. Yeah. Time to go. Hey, yeah, this 2021 flew by, though. Oh, we're already yeah. 10 months into this. Dude, you guys remember yeah. at the beginning of the year being like, well, hey, 2021 can't be as shitty as it was last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, same we're thing. This exact same thing. It's like time yeah. speeding up. 2020 Bro. was fast, but this year was. Oh, faster. Way faster. By. It, by. it started like, like making me think like it's 365 days, like just not that long. Yeah, like, no, it's, just no. Not it's not. That long. It's not. Dude, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, like it's crazy, like the amount of hours. You guys know how many hours are in a year? Oh, oh, you got me on that. Like, you got me yeah. on that one. So, so let's do it. There's 24 three. by 365, right? Yeah, there's only like it's like eight thousand or something. I think something. Yeah, like it's that. like eight thousand hours. Eight thousand and some hours. Yeah. Wow. He was trying that's... to tell me. I was like, dude, there's no way. I'm like, and he's Does like, do it. Feel it? Like I'm like, longer? damn. Yeah. 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 I'm mind blown right now. It's crazy. You got your phone? You got your phone? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Pull okay, it out. So Plus, so so but doesn't it feel like? And it's like two hundred fourteen thousand minutes or something like yeah, something crazy like that. Two hundred fifty thousand minutes. Eight thousand seven hundred sixty. That's that's the amount of hours in one year. In one year. That's wild. That's all the time you have. To get yourself prepared like mm-hmm. that's just that's it. it's crazy crazy yeah, that is pretty crazy. nuts i don't know man time flies that it's... means that clock's only going around eight thousand. <laughs> <Dude. Yeah. laughs> that's crazy <laughs> only that's crazy oh. I know, only but i mean, I mean eight thousand. that's a lot of time sleeping yeah, for know, about 60 percent of it yeah you know what I mean? yeah, true um for any for anybody for any of the viewers or anybody that you know might not understand the life for just you know juco bandit shout out juco you know king of juco yeah. what would be one thing you guys you know tell them like just something they wouldn't understand about you guys. You guys got anything? Everything is pretty much come from uh, self motivation. Yeah, that's I probably like the that's biggest thing at JUCO. Uh, JUCO band, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like that's big. I, I mean, I think personally, I know even me when I was in high school, I was like so against it. Like uh-huh. I was like, dude, I want to just get. I feel like I feel like there's such this big. Uh, thought that you have to go D one, right? Like I think stereotype. Like, all of us, like I mean, I know mm-hmm. when I was in eighth grade and stuff we'd go to camps and they had like d1 bound shirts i thought it was so cool like oh yeah i'm getting this like i'm like cool you know what I mean? <laughs> but um i think like dude you can get there like i know in our right field wall we have all the big leaguers that have made right. it like it doesn't matter man like it doesn't matter where you go if you're meant to make it you're gonna make it yeah, so exactly. i think that just and figure out where is the best fit for you yeah i mean there's no point the we biggest. see so many guys like dude I, that was gonna be the next yeah. talk by my next thing Bro, right now how many guys you see go to go. schools that are like like uh, like outrageous like well, yeah dude, like go to a school where you're gonna start exactly you're gonna go and, and get on the field immediately exactly right? well you know? that's that's a big thing i don't know if you guys saw today but today on twitter they posted this thing of um so trent he's like there was like 12 quarterbacks from like that were from california that threw for you know ten thousand yards in their high school career mm-hmm. and there was like so it's 12 and they're all like top d1 bama ole miss that are, they're going off all these top schools and then it's like trent tompkins uc davis and I know that because obviously I was real close to them through the yeah. whole process. And it's just at the end of the day, he wanted to go somewhere where he would play immediately. And then yeah, now yeah. you see that. And we, I was just um, with his dad last night and I was talking to him. And he said, yeah, like he was caught up in trying to get to this big school, do all that. But like there's so many guys that have left the Valley to this huge school. And then like we're like, where are they? You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. It's tough. So, I mean, even though you're taking – it might not be as cool to post on social media – because, I mean, I feel like a lot of people look for that. Like, oh, I'm going to – for baseball, I'm going to Vandy. I'm Old going Miss. Old Miss. Like, you know, like, it's so cool to have that look on you. But just go somewhere, man. Like, as long as you're on the field, that's what matters the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel sure. like the one thing that can be applied, and I feel like it's applied to all of our lives, but um, I feel like when you're patient, great things will come. Oh, you know what man. I mean? Like, if you oh, just don't gosh. worry about how you look. Yeah, no. You know, and just get it done. And for, like – Dude, and work your ass off for the next several years, and then yeah. eventually you're there. Then you worry about all yeah, that exactly. Stuff. But like, yeah. it, it's just it's our human nature. Like that's why it's difficult. It's difficult for us to be patient in that sense. Exactly. Right? We want to yeah. be the, the we best fitted. You know, we want to be looking like you know. Because the stereotypes out there. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you look yeah. on your phone and you got 150 mess. You know, or 150 things that you could see of somebody living a better life than you, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, what does your mind want? Your mind wants that, yeah. right? So it's hard to be patient. 
and it was I was just what I was talking about that uh that book I was reading the other day. It was called I don't uh, I don't give a fuck or I could give a fuck or something like that. And he was just saying like you know people need to stop worrying so much about the things that really don't matter yeah. like there's so many things that people worry about like their phone percentage being at 10 percent. who gives a fuck you should be worrying yeah. about you know your money being you know your your bank account being almost to zero that's yeah. what you should be worrying about not worrying about your damn phone yeah. like he's and he was just elaborating how there's so many things that we worry about and it's like those stereotypes we worry about having the best clothes we worry about having the best instagram oh, you know yeah. worry about all that stuff when really what what should we really be worrying about ourselves bettering mm-hmm. our lives all that stuff like that so i, and I know you t- touched on that too like on instagram like you're talking about i remember in one of the earlier podcasts about how you wanted to change your instagram feed yeah because i mean and i um like everyone's just out there to show the best like right. oh, i have this i have that like dude that doesn't matter like at the end of the day like what are you grinding for you know uh-huh. like mm-hmm. and i feel like there was just this new i don't know if you guys saw that alex bregman you know he's like constant on youtube yeah he posts a documentary of him coming back like from his rehab assignments to get to the league because he just got hurt and there was he went through a, a fa- like a four game series he went like oh for 16 and like and our head like we, we were talking about earlier like you see these guys and you don't think they have those struggles like right like i mean at the end of the day like i don't know how many times i'm sure brett could say the same thing as a hitter you go home you came to sleep yeah. i'm like dude how am i gonna get out of this slump how you know and i and i feel like and seeing guys like that I get like I feel like so many people post all oh, the home runs, oh this that, but they don't post anything else. And, I, and seeing Alex Bragman, like he was going through the same difficulties we have to the same people. And I mean, it's just gotta keep working. Yeah. So wait, I haven't seen that documentary. Does he like show himself through the struggles? Like- Dude. So okay, it's funny. So he goes. So he's been. So he was out for I forget how many long or for how long. Um, it was his calf. So he was trying to rehab his calf, mm-hmm. and his rehab kept getting pushed back. His rehab assignment. Because his calf was not healing, wasn't getting back to 100. So he's getting frustrated about that, right? Then finally, he's like, his uh, um, uh, physical therapist, like, you could go, you're fine. So he goes off. First game, he takes it over four, and it's funny. He's like, oh, it's my first game back. Like, I'm fine. Like, I'll figure it out sooner or later. I just have been off for so long. Second game, another over four. He's like, ah, oh, I think my swing might just be a little bit off. Third game, over four. He's starting to get a little more frustrated as it goes on. Finally, after that fourth game, over four, he's sitting there. He's like what the fuck is going on like he says that and it's so cool because like i mean like i feel like a lot of people block out like all the the real life stuff Uh and he's sitting in his car and he's like laid back with his head down and he's like like i can't figure it out and think about he did he win the mvp a few years ago yeah Mm -hmm. yeah like he was was an mvp and this guy is doing the same thing I mean, I can I I multiple, I've done myself. multiple times, so many times. Is it encouraging? Bro. Oh my gosh! Yeah. it just it makes you feel like, like I can make it. Yeah, but know? it just shows you that like even though they have their struggles, their their mind is so much stronger. Yeah, like their their mindset is just like you can't get through their mind. Like they have such a strong mind that just they don't let anything bother them. And I feel like that's that's one thing that separates everyone. Is like the from the mental toughness yeah best mm-hmm. players you know to the bottom of the barrel like it's, it's like, really what it is it's, it's all about your mind like your skills can be the same but how how different's your mind you know what i mean like no no that's the really difference is. between them and us you know especially I mean? be, baseball being as mental as it is yeah you know what yeah, i mean you're, you're failing me- mental and you're yeah. failing yeah. non-stop so yeah. it's like how how do you deal with failure exactly and the best the best people deal with failure the best yeah, yeah. that is very true um i guess shoot leading off that you know the adversity a little bit failure thing you know i feel like everybody in life goes through some type of adversity right you know it's whether it be physical mental financial whatever the case may be but everybody goes through it yeah right you know has there ever been a time for you guys that you kind of had to overcome any type of adversity that has kind of allowed you to be like like better for yourself yeah. and you guys got it i mean i'll start but so so the first one, I'll, I know I mentioned my back. I'll hit that right now. But I think a big one for me was my first year into um, Fresno City. Um, so I got there. And I think obviously when we all go, we're all like, oh, we're the guy. Like, we're going to be the guy. Like, I think all of us think that wherever we go, you think we're going to be the guy. Then you get there and you're like, wait, these guys are good. Like, mm-hmm. we have a lot of guys. And so um, I remember we started inner squatting a lot. My first at bat of inner squad, um, I hit it like off the top of the 380 sign. Like, I was like, and I never hit a ball like that before. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, this is easy. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Right? And then, not going to lie to you, I think I went on a streak from there on where I went down to hitting like 120. 120 in the fall, dude. So, 
I go, so I'm, I'm not even lying. I remember this night, like I'll remember for the rest of my life. I was at Trent's house. He just got back from Davis. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to go, we're trying to, we all go to sleep and I'm trying to fall asleep and I can't fall asleep. Like I got to the point where my mind was so messed up and focused on hitting. I couldn't even sleep, dude. It was crazy. And I think that like, and it took a long time to get over that. But then like we fast forward like two months later and we're in the season. I'm starting that first game at Friday night. And I think it it just shows how quick you have to let things go. Mm-hmm. It's not going to do that. And I think that me going from now fast forward two years later and I'm at the same school. And I think that it just shows me like, okay, if I take over three, it's not the end of the world. Like I got tomorrow, you know. Mm-hmm. But then on my back, that was another one that was huge. So going into my freshman year of high school, I'm on varsity pitching a game at Clovis North. Um, same thing. Remember this forever. And also my back's like kind of tightening up on the side. I'm like, and I don't know. We, I had just started lifting weights for the first time. Our, um, uh, Prieto was our coach time. He's like, oh, um, I think you're just sore from lifting. You haven't mm-hmm. lifted in a long time. Okay. Keep going. So I'm pitching still. I'm hitting as well. Finally, I, I took a swing and my back just gave out and I couldn't even move, dude. Like I couldn't move. Um, I was, I was freaking out. Cause I mean, the same time this is going back before I like got with my trainer, obviously a few years before, and I was doing stuff crazy. I'd hit for three hours a day. I lift for two hours a day. Like it was just out of stuff you shouldn't even be doing, you know? And so my body just said, finally said, all right, you're, like it's too much. Mm-hmm. So boom, I go to the doctor, your L5 is fractured. Um, had to take a whole year off, rehab that whole year. Um, went through a lot of times where I would try to hit again. My back still hurt. Try to hit again. My back still hurt. So finally, after a year of it, I uh, got with Marcus Walden. He was with the Blue Jays at the time. I said, man, I, I, I don't, I, there was talks at the time, like, I don't even know I'll ever play again. Like, I'm serious. It was that bad. And uh, he got a program for me because there's a doctor that works with all the, because it's, it's honestly a common injury in baseball. And there's a lot of big league guys that have it. And there's this one doctor, his name's Dr. Watkins. And he has an app too. You can follow. I, I still do that app to this day. And it was, keeps me going. So I, I did that, right? Go. So then a year four, my sophomore year, freshman year, didn't play at all. Sophomore year, excited to go. We're playing Buchan, or not Buchan, Bullard at home in the in a, uh, one of the tournaments. Take a swing and don't know how I did it. One hop the wall to right. I can't even get out of the box. Dude, I remember this. I, I can't get out of the box. I'm laying, I'm on the ground. Can't get out of the box. Wait, where you're playing versus you can, right? No, no bullet, bullet. Oh. It, but I think I think you guys were in that tournament, dude. Yeah, I think Central. I remember seeing I, I remember dude. seeing it. And, and I posted it like a few years later because it just showed me how far I had gone. And so, mm. mind you, so then I'm out my whole sophomore year. Didn't play at all. And um, I went, so I went, had a doctor, a, a spine specialist before. He didn't fix anything in my mind, right? I wanted to be fixed. So I go to a new one. I'm sitting in there and he comes in. He's like, we went through this, you've been through this process for two years now. I think the only answer is to have spine surgery. And my dad, he's a very calm, chill guy, very. And this dude starts sweating. Like he's sweating bullets. Like spine surgery is no joke. No. no, no. And so they're talking no, about bro. fusing my L5 um, with my L4. Um, and they thought that would be the only way I could play. So my luckily thank, dude, Holy I'm telling you, it's crazy. Shit. I'm thank, I thank every like god thank everybody that i didn't like because they wanted me to book the surgery right then we'll get you in as soon as we can all this my dad said no 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 we want to wait in my head i was like dad why are you saying no i want to get in as quick as i can i want to play um they had a talk i don't know if you ever play again same thing right so finally when i went home that night i just asked myself like how bad do you really want this and i think man i i i think all of us feel that no one wants it more than us like Mm -hmm. us individually but like I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, no one wants to let me and I'm going to do whatever I need to, to get back. So it's, and that's where that plan came from that hour and a half, two hours to get ready for practice. If I don't do that, I'm done. So like, it just takes, it just takes a lot of the preparation. And I asked myself like, how bad do you want it at the end of the day? Sure. And I told myself, I'll go all in. Crazy story, man. Crazy. Was it, was it, that is crazy. Man. That was is it sort nuts. of a mental block? Like after, you know, you hurt your back and the second time, was it sort of yeah. like a mental block? Like, damn, oh, I, if I God. swing, is it going to happen again? Like, so I went, I went or a did you just phase. say, fuck it? Uh, no, no, definitely didn't say fuck it. I wait, dude, because in my head, like I was so scared. Like, when is this going to happen again? You know, like I was like, okay, if I take, like, I'd be so scared on how many, um, like swings I take before a game. Mm-hmm. How many things I take after a game? Because I was just so scared. Like, 
if I take one more, like one too many swings, my back could be done. I don't know how many times I've like been in a workout or something and my back was high up and I freak out. Like I'm telling you, like John, uh, Johnny, he's like, I man, I talk to him every day on my workouts. Um, talk to him about everything. There's been multiple times I've called him like, dude, I don't know what's going on. I get, I get scared. Like it's like, it's one of my fears. Honestly, I don't have too many fears. And that's one of them that just like, it's going to happen again. And he just, I mean, honestly, then he'll look at our plan. That's the one thing I love about having a trainer, man. Like if we're athletes out there, if you don't have a trainer, like we can think we're doing everything right. But this man, dude, Johnny, he has a, he has every, like four months ahead planned out. Like it's science, man. You know, yeah, not really it is, yeah. so he, so he'll go back looking. Okay. Two weeks ago, we back squatted. Maybe we shouldn't have back squatted. Let's change that up. It's just little things like that, honestly. And, and, and even though it's a fear of mine, um, I've got to a point where I figure out what works and my, what keeps me healthy. So I just stick to that. Got to. Mm-hmm. So got what to. happens if you don't show up or if you don't show up that early to the field? Okay. So we just, it's crazy. You ask us. I just had this conversation with them on the weekend. Cause I told him, I said, Hey, um, we're going to be going to play Reedley. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do my routine. What do I do? And he, and he, he doesn't really, we, he looked at me on FaceTime and said, E, you're never going to be able to do this routine. Ever. There's going to be times when you're not going to do this routine. You better figure it out and be ready to perform. And it was like a, like, it opened my eyes. I was like, champ, bro, I got to do this routine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I got to do my routine. I'm not going to be ready to go, man. At first, I'm not going to be fresh. I'll... He said, E, look it. Say you make it to the league one day. You got a long bus ride or a plane flight. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw it earlier in the season. The Mets played a game in New York, flew to San Francisco, had like three hours in San Francisco to play. Yeah. Bro, I'm not, yeah. at that point, you need sleep. You don't need to do your routine, yeah. man. You need sleep. So I think at that point, I think I, I, that's something I need to adapt to. Because, I mean, I know it's crazy, but we had traveled last year and we would leave in the morning. I, yeah, I was up two, or, two hours before I had to leave to do my routine because <laughs> yeah. I was just so scared. And I'm not going to lie. I was so scared of it happening again. But, I mean, I think that's a new thing I got to adapt to mm-hmm. is just letting my body know what it feels like not to do the routine. I mean, still doing it maybe at the end of the night, obviously. Right. But being able to still perform without my back, like without doing that whole two-hour routine because, I mean, sometimes you don't got two hours. Right. You know? yeah. Damn, but you do that shit every day, that two hours every day if you can. Yeah. I, no not if i can I, i'll make time so like damn. dude like wow. it's crazy um i know that coach q had a uh he, you know i djs and stuff yeah, so he yeah. has a, the gigs at tioga and i had work i got off at um eight o'clock and the event started at nine and i hadn't done my routine so <laughs> I, was i going to the event at nine o'clock no i was going to <laughs> get to the event later i'll see everybody that's already there um i'm sure the food will still be there right. everything will be fine uh, music will still be blasting mm-hmm. and in my head i'll be able to go to sleep knowing i did my routine <laughs> there you go so, that's yeah, all nice. i gotta do it man i gotta do it I'm definitely uh definitely dedicated to the routine right now <laughs> yeah. for sure. no, yeah. i know bc had a few crazy injuries too yeah, yeah dude High school, first game, broken finger, diving into third. Takes me out the whole year. Do you remember that? I do remember that. I had like four games of the season, like senior year. So like with the first – oh, actually no. So I I broke it the first game and I played against Buchanan with it broken. Mm -hmm. And it was taped up. Jeez. And then I tried to play against El Diamante and that just – I got taken out of that game. Like I was in so much pain. Like, And it's weird too because I kind of – I dove in and snapped out like that and it was just – so it was all taped up and it just it was just not the move to try to keep playing. So I finally had surgery. That took me out the whole year. Four games, regular season, two playoff and the valley. So at least I got to play in the valley my senior year. And yeah. I went to the game, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie, and you smoked that ball on the left center. I was like, Hey, he's going to city, we gotta start in short time. <laughs> 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 We're fine in short. We're fine. So what yeah. about you, Lenny? Uh, you got anything adversity? Uh, I'd, crazy I'd say um i've been pretty blessed with uh my health i've uh kept up pretty well until um last summer or this past summer yeah what happened? um i got bicep tendonitis in the where it connects bicep to my sh- yeah just from throwing and 
uh, lifting so much. He's just too big. So I got yeah. it. Like right <laughs> he just up gave us a free yeah. ticket. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. 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 The guys, for people listening on Spotify now, he just flexed. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pulled out the bicep tendonitis yeah. and showed us. <laughs> but yeah, so I got it um, probably halfway through the summer over there in Kansas. And um, I think partially it was because the mound was like three feet tall. So, oh, wow. but JD got you right over there. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. But, but uh, yeah, I've just been uh, rehabbing it ever since. Yeah. Um, trying to keep it light on throwing until uh, you know, throwing actually matters mm-hmm. for games and uh, season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Season this year? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, big time! Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. You guys have your schedule already. Um, not yet, but I know we open up a skyline. We always do yeah. every year. And we, it's at Skyline, right? Yeah, it's at yeah. Skyline. Where's that at? Um, it's it's up, up North, North Bay Area yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think we're, how many wins are we away? Oh, we're two wins away from breaking Coach Wait, Scott. Two, two, really? two, two. Yeah. Wow. Damn. 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 Wow. That's sweet. Wow. Yeah, so definitely so I'm actually kind of excited that it wasn't last year. Because like, if we would have just got it last year, we would have just yeah. tied it or broke it by one. This year, we break it and we put a statement on that number. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So we put... 20 more wins after that so it's and then if he continues to stay he gets you know he gets another oh yeah so many or whatever do so the preseason games count or no 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 so, so that no, skyline I, game won't oh skyline oh no, no that yeah games. no yeah it's the first that the, game. Is that the first like like yeah regular season yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, oh, game. game i think before against bakersfield usually every year for like a bakersfield yeah that's a little scrimmage else. just a little that. scrimmage that those won't count but mm. but then once we hit skyline that will matter dang so everything that goes on the record will matter yeah that's dope well awesome Let's hear. Uh, let's do some questions right now. All right? Let's go, so baby. I'm a, I'm a Farm throw away. Some questions. What what type of cleats are you guys rocking with? What are the boys rocking with this this year on, on the mount or on the field? <laughs> uh, New Balance, <laughs> Nike, Adidas. I got the, the last year's trouts. You got the trouts, okay. high tops. Yeah, no Ooh. laces. Just hey, you actually, hold on. You actually, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I, I I wanted to make sure I talked before him because his are just <laughs> his are uh, insane. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I mean, last year was kind of cool. We, usually we have a team cleat, so mm-hmm. last year we didn't. So I was. I was like, okay, this is the time I could go crazy on him. Mm-hmm. So one of the Marcus with the Red Sox, yeah. I hit him up, said, hey, because on Players Weekend, they get custom cleats. I yeah. said, who do you go through? And then he put put me with that guy and uh, got me some sick cleats, man. I gave it a few shout outs. Um, there's like three people in my life, and I'll give another shout out right now, that passed away. They're like are big on me. What first one, um, the, the two of my cleats were Coach Flo. Um, mm-hmm. That was at City. I mean, I think any baseball player in the Valley, dude, he touched you. Like, I mean, sure. it, when he recruited us, it was just, it was awesome. And then like getting there, like I still, it's crazy. Cause I t- had a conversation with him on that Friday and then it happened on the Sunday. And the, the last thing he told me was, um, I'll see you Monday. And like, dude, I got chills right now. Like, wow. it's just so sad. Um, yeah. and then one of my other coaches earlier on was, um, coach Sam Stidham. I re- dedicated like, one cleat to him, one cleat to flow. And then this year I'm going to come with something, if we're allowed to do it, um, I want to come with someone with no love. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about that. It was one of my uh, good friends in high school passed away. Um, but I think it was like a few months ago now. Um, and so his brand is no love. It's um, no one uh, learns our vision easily. And so I want to put something for that. I already have like a sticker that I want to put on um, next to my, we have um, bag racks right there where we hook our bag up. I'll put something right there, man. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, like just being able to, perform for them because mm-hmm. i mean they, i mean obviously that's what they wanted the most so mm-hmm. i mean dedicate everything to them yeah clear it lenny <laughs> at least you're rocking with just uh some adidas Addy zeros all right what kind of what, what are you guys just, rocking with wilson or, or rawlings oh, oh rawlings rawlings 100 percent. yeah rawlings. Okay. Not even close wilson okay. is a tennis brand Oh, yeah, <laughs> so I is like that the majority of the range like going that. with Rawlings? Yeah. I think so. Honestly, yeah. I think, I think I we think got a, a lot of people, a lot of Rawlings. Okay, yeah. what about the stick? What are you guys swinging? I'm a Louisville guy. Louisville, yeah, yeah, yeah Louisville. Yeah. Those bats are Louisville. nice, man. Yeah. I'm a one piece guy. I don't really like the three piece. Kind of like uh, just like the one piece. What about uh, you, Lenny? What are you better. swinging? Uh, yeah. Back in the day, the Mako was my bat. <laughs> a little twisty knob or what? Yeah. I used the orange dude. one. Yeah. The green one was, was the cheater bat. Yeah. Okay. What about blondes or brunettes? There we go. Let's get into them, huh? Oh. Uh, blondes. I'm a. I, I like light skins. Okay. Uh, so we gotta go brunette. You know, I'm a light okay. skin type of guy. Yeah. Blondes and brunettes. <laughs> <laughs> that like, am I gonna discriminate, dude? 
Uh, they're all they're all. Uh, uh, hey, I have a question oh, for you. Superstition. Oh, okay, okay. Are you superstitious or no? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah I said that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah I, said I got a question for you. So uh, on obviously I watched all the podcasts. You, you have bangers. I heard. Yeah. So yeah. Right honestly, okay. Right now, I'm honestly since it came out on Thursday, I've been listening to the whole Don Toliver album on dude, replay. Bro. What you that need? Album, it, yeah. yeah. Have, have you heard something? You need? Yeah, dude. That whole album is insane, oh bro. Life of, yeah. Life of Dawn, man. Dude, it's, it's so, so good. good. No, I, yeah. I worked. Yeah. Uh, so, so I bartended for Chen's dad. dad. Okay. And I, had I, a, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so last night I had an event, and I was driving home from Visalia. Uh -huh. I was like, "What am I gonna listen to?" And I was like, "Dude, Don Toliver's album came out. I'm listening to that." Dude, it's nice. It's, it's, nice. it's a vibe, nice. bro. Crossfaded's good. They're all all yeah. the songs oh, on there are good. So that good. Flocky Flocky with Travis Scott. Hey, that one's nice. Vibe, that one's bro. nice. Yeah, they're they're all smooth. So uh Me Mill, 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 listen that one? Uh, I have. I couldn't get into it, bro. No. I like the ASAP Ferg song. song. Yeah, no, that one is hard. That one's hard. It's a hard song. Yeah, there's a lot of good music going out right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. There always is, man. Yeah. Come on. Nah, there's, no, there's some really patches nah, really yeah. shit. There is. Yeah. But... And then you go back to the old high school yeah. slaps and yeah. 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 <laughs> put you back. It's funny. Go to burger places. Oh, where yeah. you guys go to let's say. Or actually, no. Because I hear you guys do this a lot too. After practice, where do you guys go eat? Oh, go to. Yeah. Uh, angry, after practice, angry, chicks. angry chicks. Angry chicks. Yeah. Oh, angry dude. chicks is gas. Yeah. See, convince me right now. If you were if you were an employee right now working at Angry Chicks, I just walked in. What am I supposed to get? A loaded Mac. A loaded Mac. Oh, if yeah. you like mac and cheese, loaded Mac's pretty good. I mean, okay. you get your fries, your chickens all shredded in there, and then the Mac's on top. But oh, put, so they put the chicken yeah. and the, the like fries they inside the, the Mac. Fries on the in bottom. The mac? Yeah. And then mac and cheese and chicken in it. How does yeah. that fit in your meal plan? I don't fit. <laughs> that's that's on his cheat thing. days, bro. Like that's it, on his cheat ready. days. So, so I will only cheat on Sundays. Okay. So if the team goes out, I'll go, but I'm not eating. <laughs> oh, but oh, but just just a few months ago, they all went to Doghouse. And like the whole team went and they convinced me, dude. I went and ate. I gave in. I ate. But that Sunday, I wasn't cheating. Uh, I wasn't cheating. That's fair. So, but that's yeah, fair, though. On a Sunday, I think burger, in and out yeah, in and yeah. Out. yeah. In and that's not nice. Dude, out. I feel like when you go, have you ever gone, gotten like in and out out of like, out of the state, yeah. Uh, well, it's terrible. Of, well, anywhere but, but or, uh, anywhere but the valley, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's terrible, it's except for the great one. Yeah, the, yeah. The, these these are in and yeah. outs are top tier Dude, for sure. Here, bro. You go anywhere else where they're not. It's I mean, not Southern California is pretty good, but like you go to like especially the one in Air, that ones in Arizona, right. like close to California, bro. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're not. Yeah, they're not the same. Off. These are horrible, man. But um. We got a few shout outs today. Yeah, we do got it. We got to do yeah. We do got a few shout outs. So, uh, we'll give another shout out to King of Juco. Yeah, Why not? You know, he's fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Juco yeah. man is, uh, you know, give him a little love. Uh, I'll give a shout out to Mr. Bergman, Coop, for those of you guys who don't know. He's a loyal fan, man. He's always, he's always reposting, liking our stuff. Oh, yeah. Couldn't tell you how much that means hey, to us. I got a funny story about that, real quick. Mr. Bergman? Re before we, I'll hurry it up. But, um, so my auntie, she was at, a, she called me one night. Uh -huh. She's like, hey, I'm at this bar and there's this, a cabbage he looks like a cabbage patch or something <laughs> i was like wait what I'm, and i'm like facetime me she answered his coop he's like <laughs> i was like i was like i told i was like auntie don't ever disrespect coop like that again <laughs> yeah dude she was dude oh, she's like she's in her 30s and and the whole fresno state baseball team here she's like she's, this is my favorite one i was like yeah he's sick <laughs> Guy, that's funny yeah um cole escovito for those of you guys who haven't seen episode 14 going ahead over there he's same thing he's like reposting our stuff and then uh lenny what? See you right there, man. Hey, you're constantly liking, reposting our stuff, and uh, we just had to give a shout out to those guys just because I mean we see it and it fires us up seeing those likes, those, those reposts, and all that. So we're trying to get better every week, yeah, right? And so that kind of stuff helps us get better. So a uh, little shout out for you guys, uh, for all my 21 and over fans. You guys need a bar, need anywhere to go? Downtown Clovis, the fifth. Head on over, but drink responsibly. Um, you guys need a pumpkin? Head on over to Clovis House of Holidays. We talked about it in the last podcast. Podcast. Their first pumpkin patch. Open from 12 to 8 p.m. Whole month of October. Link in the description will be below. Yes, sir. And that was episode 19, guys. Thank yes, you guys sir. again. Yeah. Thank you hey, guys for thank coming. Thank you, boys, for sure. Thank you, guys. This is awesome. I yeah, love when fun. you guys hit us up. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Fun. For yes, sure. No, without I'm you excited. guys, this episode would not have been possible. So no, we greatly appreciate you guys, honestly. This was awesome. How'd you guys like it? It was fun. Dude, yeah, it was uh, fun. Yeah, I loved it. I'm for saying sure. I've been watching you guys forever. So I was like, mm -hmm. when Thanks, Lane texted me, he was like, he was like, Hey, RJ and Luke wants you on guys we do I was like, Wait a second. Did I make, yeah. hey, did I make it in life? Yeah. <laughs> I know, dude. Hey, it was 
<laughs> when I got that text, I had to double read it. I was like, what? No. I was like, what? No fucking way. I was like, for sure. I was like, I'm there. Just let me know when. Yeah, dude, we, we made it happen, bro. Like, this yeah. is the craziest thing, like, setup, especially. that we Yeah, had. this has been the craziest one we've had. The, most people. Know, most everything. people, most everything. We went and bought a new mic. You got a new mic right now, bro? That's oh, yeah. lit. I was looking at that. That thing's slick. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That thing's dope. That thing's dope. We were messing around with it yesterday, but no, dude, this is guys being dudes, man. Yeah. We're loving where we're at right now. We're loving the people we're bringing on. And uh, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm learning a lot from all this. Every right? time, man. And episode 20 is next week. We that's 20, 20, episodes, episode. 20 that's weeks in. Dude. That's, that's crazy. That is that's crazy. That's awesome. You guys that's got awesome. an idea who's Thanks. going on next? Um, we, <laughs> we're not we're not releasing no, it. No. I know that, but no, we got we're hoping yeah, for so one guy cool. that's like big, big. You know? Let's go, mm, yeah. let's go. Fire me up. Yeah, but, sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah sweet. I think twenty. We might go back to just being us. That's five episodes oh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that one oh, might be just yeah. us. Recap a little bit, but we'll see. The next, the next, dude. We're getting we're getting yeah, big yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're getting yeah. big time. We got we got some guys in in the works. Trust. That's awesome. No, but uh, like I said, thank you guys for coming on. But uh, guys, that was episode nineteen. Uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. Guys, being dudes, you can find us on Instagram. Twitter, Sp- uh, Apple Podcast, Spotify, and of course, if you're a visual learner, then YouTube. But signing off, it's your boy RJ. Yeah, and I'm Luke. It's another exceptional Tuesday, baby. Uh, work. Let them know where can they find you guys. Yep. Yep. Man, yeah. if I, on anything, Instagram, oh. Twitter. I'll put it down below for you. Guys. Yeah, we'll put it on Instagram. Yeah, I'll put my Instagram down below. You can find me there. Another excellent Tuesday. Before you guys leave, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Both way, best way you can support us. Tell a friend, right? You guys tell mm-hmm. a friend. They tell a friend. Boom, we're everywhere. Yes, All right. We're out, guys. All right, later. Peace. Thank you, guys.